Thank you, everybody, for coming today. I'm Asante Mi on all the social media platform. I am a feng shui coach, and I want to share with you guys today how to use feng shui. Well, actually, how feng shui is really all about how to use feng shui in your everyday activities. So, do you guys realize that in feng shui? Your house, where you live, will determine your wealth and your health. Okay, feng shui impacts you that way. But because nowadays we're no longer homebound, we actually travel. We stay at hotels. We stay at Airbnb. We stay at other people's places than our own. So what we need to do now, we have a solution for that. You use your personalized feng shui direction, aka life star or life gua direction. So what you have in front of you, the bookmark. I want you to scan the QR code, and then go to under the free stuff tab, find the yin yang symbol, the Bazi calculator. That's where you can plug in your birthday. You don't need to know your hour. Plug in your birthday and year. And you can find your gua number. There's a formula, a cheat sheet for it. So for those who、uh, can read that far, you can find your year. <laughs> like、um, Vivian, what year are you born? Ninety-two. Ninety-two. You are number seven.、Oh、you gua number seven. <laughs> Brian, what year are you born? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. You are gua number eight. Okay, so remember those. Eight. Number eight, number seven, Vivian. Jimmy, what's your number? Seventy-six. Seventy-six. We are number six. So why are these number important? Because these number. Well, if you would have plugged in the chart, you would have find your gua number, which I just call out your number for you, and all your four lucky direction. For example, someone nobody is gua three. Gua three south is wealth. North is health. Southeast is romance, and east is career. It's actually your identity palace. So you need to memorize these. Not, not these are not your. This is for number three person. Do we have a number three person here? No, we don't. What does eight mansions? No, you're number three. Okay. What does gua number mean? Each gua is, is based on the I Ching chiogram. So gua number one, it's water. It's in the location of north. Gua number two is Earth in the southwest. Number three is thunder in the east. Number four is wind in the southeast. Number five is Earth. Female is number eight. Male is number two. Number six is heaven. It's in the northwest direction. Number seven is marsh in the west. Number eight is mountain. It's in the northeast. And finally, number nine. I think、uh, Steve is number nine, right? Number eight, okay. Who's number nine? Do we have a number nine? No number nine. Okay, number nine is fire. It's in the south. So what does all this mean? These are the direction of your gua number. What it means is for a what number you are? Eight. Number eight person. The northeast sector of your house. Make sure it's immaculate because that is your identity. That is who you are in your house. So whatever your number is corresponding to that, like for David, number four in the southeast sector. Make sure that sector of your house is clean, okay? Because a messy southeast quarter, meaning a messy mind for you, because that is who you are in your house. That's why I want you guys to know your number. Okay, Jimmy, what number are you? Two, two, two Jimmy, southwest. Very important to know those directions. That is your, that is your identity palace at home. So that sector of your house has to be clean, because otherwise, you're gonna, is you're gonna have if it clutter, you're gonna have clutter mind. Okay. So I know it's hard to remember all this. So I actually created a line of、um, phone cases and tumbler for. You to remember, so they all have. You see, like 
Number two, Jimmy. So your health direction is in the west. Your wealth is in the northeast. Your romance or connection is in the northwest. And your identity, which is the light bulb, your thinking is in the southwest. So how do we use all this? In your wealth direction, this is where you need to make sure in your house it's clean as well because that is your money direction. That is your personalized money direction for you. So the wealth direction, it, this is the direction you want to face. Say, for example, if you're in your office, you set up your desk facing your wealth direction when you're on the phone talking to your boss or making, talking to your client, making deals, that's where you need to be. Also, it's called life generating direction, meaning when you are not feeling well or you're kind of tired, you need a boost of energy, you go to that sector of your house. Then we're at the health direction. I want you to go home, check your bed, make sure your, the bed head is pointing that direction. That is for maximum health. And also, if you can eat facing that direction would be helpful as well. Then we have the romance. I know the relationship, romance, the heart. You basically, it's for when you go to networking. Part of the reason why I created these in the phone case format, so when you go into room for networking, you can quickly remember what your direction is, take out your compass, look at where the direction is. You want to make sure when you talk to somebody, you face that direction for networking. Oh, date night as well. So on the, your home base, your thinking, your meditation, this is where I want you to sit for clear thinking, for problem solving, for meditation, or also to calm down. This is also a good place for you to put your vision board because that is who you are in your house. Okay? So you can get this in, in my website. Ask Aunt Amy slash merch, and we use the Amy 10, you get 10% off. And these makes great gifts. I personally like it I, because there isn't any of these out there available for you guys. So, um, for iPhone? yes, iPhone 16, iPhone Pro Max, whichever. Yep. Uh, so, do I have any question? <laughs> Everybody's eating right now. Brian, you had a question. Well, I was just wondering if you get bonus points when, like what you were saying, Thank you so much. if um, your whole house is clean. Nope. Like, I'm a neat freak. I like everything clean. So. Nope. Okay. No bonus point. You just need to use those directions. It's not about clean. It's about you have to use it too besides being clean. Decluttering that particular sector, it helps the chi flows easier. That's, you know. And also, your depending on your house layout, it just because it's neat and clean doesn't mean it's good for feng shui as well. Okay. It's depend on what else is there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it could be your front door is incorrectly positioned or your staircase, you know. You know how like some basic feng shui stuff, like you don't want your front door open directly to your back door. That is like a shotgun house, bad. Also, you don't want to have stairs coming up to your house because that's called what we call pulling, pulling, pulling no sha chi. So your money flows out, it doesn't come in. So we have to do feng shui remedy for that as well. If you have a tree right in front of your front door, bad feng shui too. So there's a lot of feng shui rules that- Do you keep statistics, Amy, of people that you know or work with, or do they keep overall statistics of people that do follow feng shui that actually increase their- in a ja Janae, I'm glad you asked. Janae, remember when I did her feng shui for her home office? She started with about seven people. She built in what, less than a year, she built to 42 people on her team. Yes, and uh, she landed a $10 million contract. You know, so it's because I did the feng shui for, for her office for her. And I have other clients who have improved health-wise, you know, because I redid the house for her. And it's not about arranging furniture. It's about arranging the people, aligning the people and the chi to make sure that you maximize the benefit from your environment. And that is what feng shui is all about. It's connecting you and the environment. So it could be work. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.